Patreon member shout out. We must be mistaken. It's the same old theme in 2018. In your head, in your head, they're still fighting. With their tanks and their bombs and their guns and their drones. In your head, in your head, they are dying. Hey guys, how's it going? It is either real Randy Chavez coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. If you guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not welcome back, I'll be off and say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. So, this video is not necessarily a Omi update, it's going to be more VV related. I was asked a question by Joey Collects, shout out to him, asking me what I think his first set um, Batman is going to be. You know, the Todd, the Riso, the Joey Mad, the Becky Clunan. And I got to thinking about it, and I was like, okay, well, we have a range of about, let's say, 1 to 10 ETH. It has been, right now, it's a little bit over 1 ETH, and at the height, it was like 15K, which at the prices that is now, it would be over 10 ETH, because it's, it's about, you know, 10, 1090, $1,100, give or take. And I thought about it. I was like, okay, well, what has the market done for NFTs when Ethereum goes down. And you're gonna have to follow me on this. Let's say we have a cup that's worth 10 ETH, right? And then let's say the price of ETH, let's just say it goes down by 50% because you know it's obviously gone down a lot more, but let's say the price of the cup is 10 ETH and let's say Ethereum is worth $3,000. Now, if the price of Ethereum gets cut down by 50% and it's worth $1,500, well, then in order for the cup to be the same price in dollars as it was when before ETH was cut in half, then it would have to double. It would not be 10 ETH. It would have to be 20 ETH to keep that same dollar amount. But that's not exactly what happens. What you notice in the last couple of months, not only did the price of Ethereum go down, but the amount of Ethereum that you would have to pay for a random NFT... It, it, it that didn't go up. That didn't even stay the same. Like, like if, if, you know, this costs 10 ETH and the price of Ethereum goes down and the amount of Ethereum were to stay the same, yes, you're still paying 10 Ethereum, but now you're not paying $30,000. Now you're only paying $15,000. But again, that didn't happen. The amount of ETH that a lot of these NFTs were going for, let's say the cup, was was also being cut in half. So you have the price of Ethereum going down, and then you have the amount of Ethereum that you pay go down along with it. So that now, let's say, instead of 10 ETH, you're paying 5 ETH. And, you know, if that's a, a $7,500, you know, at, at 1500 per ETH, because that, remember, that got cut in half. So if we go and we take the price of Ethereum as it is right now, let's say if it, uh, if the amount of ETH Let's say it's about two ETH per for, for a Todd, which which it's a little more like a Todd is worth maybe like 1.8, 1 1.9, but but let's say two ETH for a Todd, right? Okay, well, what's the price of an ETH right now? It, it's about one. Uh, it's about eleven eighty seven. So it's it's all it's almost twelve hundred. Okay, so let's take a look at the market cap for Ethereum. It's about one hundred forty four point six seven billion. Well, conventional wisdom. Or I was, you know, Kathy Wood has estimated that Ethereum, and again, Kathy Wood is usually generally conservative on these prices, especially long term, had mentioned that Ethereum would have a market cap of about $20 trillion by 2030. Now, you would have to multiply the market cap by ETH by 138. You, you 138x that. And then you get about 19.96, you know, almost that 20,000. So let's, let's, let's keep that 138. So if the... Uh, and again, let's say if this cup happens, it, the price of ETH happens the same way. As the price of ETH goes up, th the amount that this would cost would also go up as well. Not just because the price goes up, but the amount of ETH that you would pay goes up. Because if it, if it does the same thing going, going down, it should do the same thing going up. So let's just say that, let's just say that it doesn't. Let's say that the price of the Todd Batman stays the same in ETH. Okay, well that's... Now, it's now, 2 ETH, instead of being, you know, about 100, or uh, I'm sorry, instead of, uh, about a little over 2K, let's say that the price of Ethereum 
is now, you do the price of ETH 11.90 and you multiply it by 138, and it's $164,000. So if the price for one ETH is $164,000, and the TOD is worth two ETH, and you multiply that by two, then it's $328,000 for one TOD. Does this seem a little outlandish? Does this seem a little bit high? Yeah, especially right now, but what happens to, you know, the things that are currently that price, like a board ape or a Ethereum rock? Ethereum rock is like a quarter million dollars and it's a freaking rock. It's a rock. So I, I would say that a lot of things right now, like Board Yacht Club, like like Ethereum Rocks, like Moonball, like whatever, a lot of these NFTs in the market are probably really overvalued. Ask anyone over the age of 50, it's a pixelated board ape, there's 10,000 of them. The, the, every single project has 10,000. You know, most projects have 10,000 of, of them. It's just absolutely asinine. So let's just pretend, well, you know, dare I say that pictures of a rock that are JPEGs that have no utility are you know, a little bit overpriced. And let's say that the first Batman on the blockchain, and again, I'm not pumping my own bags. I don't I don't have the first set. You could make this for Secret Rare Spider-Man. You could make this for Partners, although I do have Partners. Um, that let's say a lot of these things, the first of which on the blockchain, like a Partners for Appearance Mickey, uh, Spider-Man for Sp Spider-Man, and first appearance of Batman on the blockchain. Let's just say that those are grossly undervalued right now. Well, there's probably going to be some uh, money flowing in from bad projects into the good projects. And maybe because VV NFTs are down here that are undervalued and the other NFT projects are overvalued are up here, probably going to go like this, where VV NFTs are up here, other bad projects are down there. And again, what, what happened with the cup? Not only on the downward did the price of Ethereum go down, but the amount of ETH you had to pay went down with it. So let's just say that as the price of Ethereum increases, the amount of Ethereum you would have to pay also increases. So let's say it's not two ETH. Let's say it's five ETH. So, you know, if, if, if one ETH was 164,000 and you multiply it by five, that's that, you know, and, and that's a little barely over a double of, of where it is, you know, going from, two, you know, almost two ETH to, to five ETH. And it could go up higher. So, and, and let's say if we, if we don't have a $20 trillion market cap, let's say we have a $10 trillion Ethereum mar uh, a dollar market cap for Ethereum, which is half of what uh, Kathy Wood says. Then you're looking at an ETH price of $82,000. And again, if the price doesn't change at all, then you're looking at $164,000 for, you know, for two ETH, for, for one Todd, which is pretty heckin' good. Um, but yeah, th this is all just to go over the fact that th the price of the first set Batman, or at least the first Batman, is, is going to be insane. And the Riso is currently for ETH right now. So the Riso, which was worth, I think, like, like 10 ETH at one point. So let's say for ETH for the RISO, and let's say we're only at a $10 trillion market cap for Ethereum by 2030. Well, then if it, it that's 328,000 for him, for just for him alone. You know, because again, a lot of things aren't just priced in dollars. Like, oh, how much ETH is that? A, a lot of new, new people, new players in the game, they don't worry about what the price is in dollars. They worry about the price of what Ethereum is. Or, or they don't even say how much ETH. Oh, three ETH, fine, whatever, 10 ETH, whatever. So if this is not just worth four ETH, let's say let's say it let's say it doubles and it's worth eight ETH. Well, that's six hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. It's not outside the realm of possibility to say that the first set, which is going to be one of the most collectible or at least sought after collectible on the app, could be worth seven figures. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Some fun with numbers. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone, please check out at Hey David on and at K Mavs Forever over on Twitter. Stand up chart and K Mavs over on the VV app. Kobe Collection, Call Me Player One over on the YouTube. Raythex.eth domain name. Kyle Wilson, Wendy Sabalas, Put in Cheeks, VV Las Vegas, Tap Trades, Mars Davis, Sega Super Muta, Sodi Pop Media, VV Darklink, Metal Lemon, and VV Vibes all on the YouTube. At Nomad with Guitar, at Wet Wizard VV, and Gary O at 1234CA3 all on the Twitter. 
Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow. Check out my awesome shirt. Meow.